Shalom, Pastor, coming back at you with the truth given all praises. And um, I'm going to entitle this video John Hired Canis and the Edomites. What I did was put in John Hired Canis forced conversion. Well, I put up different, I put E, so I put different words and it came up that way. So I, I said, let me go with that, see what takes me. What I did do, I didn't have uh, the complete works of uh, Flavius Josephus, and I finally got it. I went to online, and uh, I said, let me put in my favorites. I don't need it right now. Anyway, uh, I just want to go into a little bit of history. I don't know how long this is going to go. I don't think this is going to be that long, but let's see where the spirit takes me. Um, you know, because we teach that uh, the so-called, the small hats are uh, people that came in from different parts of Europe uh, during the time period, actually before, up until the time period of uh, 1948. Well, you had, yes, you had, you had, Edomites that were Kazakhs, you also had Edomites that were, you know, scattered throughout uh, parts of Europe. And for that case, around the world, then you had uh, Edomites that, there was a split among Edomites. You had Edomites that stayed down in Mount Seir or Petra. And that's where uh, the Herodian dynasty came from. And um, the Romans, which were another group of Edomites, they called themselves Romans after they, they stole the name from some, some, some from dark people, which were uh, the sons of Japheth, the uh, Minoans, the uh, Etruscans, you know, because you have to give an answer as to who are the uh, Minoans, the, the Etruscans, they were not so-called white people, or Edomites. They were actually, they would have to be of the seed of Japheth in a table of nations, which is Ger uh, Genesis uh, chapter 10. See, once you go into all the nations that's in the scriptures, Genesis chapter 10, which they call the table of nations, you have to say, okay, well, where did these, well, let's deal with Noah. Noah had three sons, right? Shem, Shem, Ham, and um, Yapa. Those are the three sons that came out of Noah. So out of those three sons, they repeople the whole planet. So any person that you see today has to go back to one of those three sons. And Esau will tell you that the Hamites are so-called Africans. Why do they say that? Because the, the uh, African, the sons of Ham stayed in that land called the land of Ham. And that's also in, in the scriptures. It mentions the land of Ham. And um, I believe that's Psalms 105, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not going to go to it. Somebody can put it in if, if they like. But uh, you, you, got, you got Ham, so we know who Ham is. Even Esau will tell you that. Let's see if we can find that out. Bear me for a minute. Okay, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's go here. Okay, uh, Ham, Bible.
Okay, it says ham in Hebrew, chum. Hebrew pronunciation, ham, actually is chum. According to the Table of Nations, that's what they refer to it as, the Table of Nations, the Book of, Gen Book of Genesis, which is uh, chapter 10, was the second son of Noah and the father of Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. So Esau knows that. So we, we done tackled uh, one third of the population of the world and, and who are they, who are they biblic biblically, biblically? It says uh, father of Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan, Ham's descendants, are uh, interpreted by Flavius Josephus and others as having uh, populated Africa and adjourning parts of Asia. But then when they show you them, this 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 show you that this man is a damn devil. Okay, this is supposed, I guess this is supposed to be Ham, Sham, and Jeffrey. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Would you take a good look at that? You see how this devil is? I, w I don't know which one Ham is. I don't know which one Shem is. And I don't know which one Jaffe is. Let me see. Let me see something. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. It was a trip. Oh, let me come back here. Let me come back here. Okay, so look, hey, look at the faces. He looked just like Esau. He looked just like Esau. He looked like he's an Edomite, but he got red hair. He doesn't have red hair. He's shorter and fatter. And uh, another Edomite. Number Edomites, man. Where did so-called black, so-called black people come from? Where did the Egyptian come from? Where did the the uh, Ethiopians, which are the Kushites, come from? You see how this see, see this devil has to keep telling lies upon his first lie. He has a he has a lie. He has to have he has a come with another lie to keep that first lie going, and then he has to come with another twenty lies to keep that second lie going and the first lie going. So he constantly has the lie to make him seem superior. Now we read that it said about the Hamites that they're African, that they're Cush and, and, and uh, Mizraim, which are the Egyptians. So there you got it. Let me give, me, give you another picture. Let me see if I can open this up. Really can't. Uh, boy, the Ham, Sham, and Jeffrey, three white guys. Three white boys. Okay, let me see here. Uh, you gotta you gotta double check. You gotta double check Esau. And see, this is how we know that we're Israelites because we through a process of elimination, we would have to be the people. Let me see what this is all about. Okay, got nothing, nothing. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be, uh, it should tell you. Okay, it says, Sons of Japheth Bible. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, this is, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, 
this is this is this is this is blasphemy. This is madness. You got uh, Noah looking like a damn white ape. You know, he, he oh my goodness, Esau, you gotta go, motherfucker. Your your cracker, your red ass gotta go. Look at this. He's all drunked up. He's butt ass naked. And then this is supposed to be him, which they made dark. For some reason, they made dark, which they were right on this. And he was the one that made mockery. And these two clowns, they 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 carried uh, uh, sheets to cover their father's nakedness because they know by custom or law that you're not supposed to look upon your father's nakedness. Can you imagine seeing your father butt ass naked? You turn your fucking head, man. But they made sure they made this guy. Yeah, he's a black guy. They made him made him look a little. He could pass for a Jake, and they made this guy look like Esau. You got to keep telling them lies, Esau. Your time time is running out, man. Them lies are catching up with your Edomite red ass. Anyway. It says, uh, it says John, he, um, John Hyrcanus, the first, uh, born circa 175 BC, died. Uh, 104 uh, BC. High priest, and by the way, he 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 was a descendant. He from that line of uh, the Maccabees. A uh, high priest and ruler of the Jewish nation from 135 to 134 to to 104 BC. He forced I I Dumia, the Edomites to convert to uh, Judaism. So that's why you have a religion called Judaism, thanks to a Israelite that converted, force converted Edomites to, to, to learn the law, statutes, and commandments. And that's why them, they think that they're the people. But they're not, they're not. The scholars know this. It said the first example of conversion, the first example of conversion imposed by the Jews in, this, in, in their history upon his death, Hycranus was succeeded by his eldest son, Aristobulus the first. Okay, let me see if I can get any more out of this. I'm just getting a little history. Okay, let's go here. Conversion force, uh, Oxford reference. So don't be fooled, man. These top scholars in Cambridge and in uh, Oxford, and especially those two universities, they know exactly who we are. They know exactly who they are. They know who the Edomites are. They know that that they, that this their kingdom is coming coming down. They know who we are. Let me see what this says. Okay, this is the Oxford Dic Dictionary of the Jewish Religion. Conversion forced. The forced conversion of the Idumeans, Edomites, but they got all this information on Edomites, right? But they don't know who the Edomites are. They get stupid when you tell them they're Edomite. You tell them you're an Edomite. No, you're no, you no, you're not an Edomite. They'll tell you. They'll tell you no, that they're not an Edomite, and they, in the fact, they are. It says uh, the forced conversion of the Idumeans, Edomites to Ju Judaism, and you can't be forced to be a Jew. Now, can you be forced to keep the laws? Yes, as an Edomite 
or as a Hamite. It says to Judaism by John Hycranus, 135 to 105 BCE, is the only such record case of forced conversion to Judaism. On the other hand, Jews have been the victims of force. There, there they go with their victimization, uh, conversions throughout their history. Rabbis have issued special enactments to provide for the Jews who were unable to observe their religious op openly, religion openly. The first case, here they, here they come with the bullshit. The first line, line and a half, they were on point. And then they here they come with that bullshit. Rabbis have issued a issue special enactments to provide for Jews who were unable to observe their religion, relig, religion openly. The first case which occurred in the period immediately uh, preceding the Maccabean revolt of 168. Now that's talking about the real people. That's talking about the real people, the Israelites. Let's come back over here. <laughs> Let me go to John Hycranus, the first king of, Ju king of Judea. Yeah, let's, let's do a little reading here. John Hycranus, the first. It says, born 175 BC, died 104 BC, high priest ruler of the Jewish nation from uh, 135 to 134 to 104. Under his reign, the Hasmonean kingdom. Now you have these group of people called the Hasidim, which goes back to the Hasmonean dynasty. So they're saying they're the direct descendants of uh, the Maccabees, you know, during the time period of. Uh, Antiochus Epiphanes. It says, uh, under his reign, the Hasmonean kingdom of Judea and ancient Palestine attained power and great uh, prosperity. And the Pharisees, a scholarly sect with popular backing, and the Sadducees, an uh, aristocratic sect that comprised the priesthood became well-defined religious uh, parties. Hycranus was the youngest son of Simon Maccabees and thus a member of the Hasmonean dynasty. And the Hasmonean dynasty was the Maccabean family, which was a powerful family, mainly because of the Maccabees, Judas Maccabees, his brother, his father, so-called after an ancestor name Hasmonius in 137 BC, he and his brother uh, Judas commanded the force that historically repelled the invasion of Judea by, led by, uh, what is that, Sendibius, the general of the Syrian, of the, of the Syrian king of Antioch, Give me a second here. In 135, Hycranus, Hycranus' brother in law, Ptolemy, the governor of Jericho, assassinated Hycranus' father. Uh, Hycranus, I'm trying to get to the point here. Let's get down to this whole lot of reading. Okay, it says Ptolemy, he successfully thwarted Syrian incursion by alliance with Rome. Now, Rome, when you read about Rome during that time period, you had, I believe, the Rome at that time were J Japhetic people. Edomites didn't come into power and call themselves Romans until closer to 
let's say 60, 75, 70 uh, BC, that's when they came into power. But during the time of the Hecranus and uh, uh, the Maccabees, when they made that, 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 that um, the Romans helped them, those were those were uh, those Japhetic uh, Romans because the, the true Romans are Japhetic people. Romulus was a, a Japhite. That the, the 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 togas that they wore, the the rosemary uh, wreath, they got that from um, the the people of Japhetic, the 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 Etruscans and the Minoans and so forth, the Caesar Caesar Japhet. It says, and conquered the unfriendly neighboring territories of Samaria and Idumea, Edom. He forced Idumea to convert to Judaism. The first example of conversion, of conversion imposed by the Jews in their history upon his death, Hycranus was succeeded by his eldest son, Aristobulus the first. Hycranus' reign was a, was the last under which Judea was a powerful United State. Guess that's all they're gonna give you. Okay, it says, it says king, feminine queen, a supreme ruler, sovereign over nation or territory of higher rank than any other secular ruler except an emperor to whom a king, uh, there's a lot of blah, blah stuff. Uh, let me come down here. absolute or constitutional and, and usually takes the form of a monarchy, although dire cheese, I hope I read that right, have been known. As in ancient Sparta, now this people of Sparta were definitely Israelites. They're mentioned, um, they're mentioned in, uh, uh, the Apocrypha as being Israelites. Um, matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me take the word Sparta. Let me try it this way. Let me try it this way. Bear me. Let's see what happens. Okay, it says here, beautiful. It says, or oh, was Sparta mentioned in the Bible? Yes, at least in Catholic and Orthodox Bibles, meaning the Apocrypha. And that proves right there that the Catholics also dealt with the Apocrypha as well. Also Orthodox Bibles. It says uh, the, rel the relevant book, 1st Maccabees, is considered Apocrypha by Protestants versions and is not included in Jewish Tanakh. 
in First Maccabees 12, it says uh, the text recounts some of the diplomatic efforts of high priest Jonathan, who sought an alliance with the several foreign powers. One of them was the Romans. Like I said, I believe the see you we will go to uh, the Apocrypha to the, the Maccabees and we'll read about the Romans and we'll say that those are the Edomites. I don't believe they are. So the more research has to be done because Esau was never honorable, man. How the hell Edomites, which are Romans gonna join forces to help us against other Edomites? It doesn't make any sense. And so it's, you know, it's hidden, hidden history, man. They said who sought an alliance with the several for, foreign powers, including both Rome and Rome, which are the Japhetics, and Sparta. It says against the Seleucid Empire, which is Antiochus Epiphanes, and the letters uh, quoted, uh, Jonathan claims to me. Okay, Jonathan claims to have records of, of previous correspondence with Sparta in which both Jews and Spartans claim some kind of ancestral kinship, not exactly what one would have uh, guessed about the particular parent. Yeah, because they look at them as, well, they look at them both as being Edomites, but you know what I'm gonna do? Let me do this. Let me do this here. Let me do this the hard way. Right through the hard way. Okay, I hope I have a tab. Okay, let me do it this way. Bear me for a minute. See if it'll come up this way. Okay. First Maccabees 12, KJV. Now when Jonathan saw the time, that time served him, he chose certain men and sent them to Rome for to confirm and renew the friendship. These guys wasn't no Edomites. We had, a, I believe we had a deep friendship with uh, those Japhetic tribes that they had with them. He sent letters also to the last Lacedaemonians and to other places for the same purpose. So let me do this, let me do this. And see, this is how we know that we're those people and we know that who the other people are because we study, we do this research and it's out there, man. Okay, I read that the second verse he said, let us also to the Lacedaemonians and to other places for the same purpose. So they went unto Rome and entered into the, entered into the Senate. Now the, sen, the Senate, the word Senate goes back to the word elders and they would sit in a house, Senate house and they would wear the, the togas and they would have the rosemary leaves around uh, branches around their head or wreaths. And that, and that rosemary is supposed to recharge your brain. 
So that's this whole, like you have the Senate today, which goes back to the ancient Romans, which goes back to the Japhetic people. It says, so, so they went into, so they went unto Rome and entered the Senate and said, Jonathan, the high priest and the people of the Jews sent us, sent us unto you to the end ye should renew the friendship which ye had with them and league as in former times. So these wasn't no Edomites, man. It says upon four verse, upon this, the Romans gave them letters unto the governors of every place that they should bring them in the land of Judea peaceably. And this is the copy of the letter which Jonathan wrote to the Lacedaemonians, uh, Jonathan the high priest uh, and the elder of the nation and the priests and the others of the Jews unto the Lacedaemonians, their brethren send greetings. So as you read down, it goes in, it, it goes further into uh, as you read down, let me just jump down. 21st verse. It is found writ in writing that the Lassima, the Lacedaemonians and Jews are brethren and that they are of the stock of Abraham. Show you the powerful influence of our people, man. So now let me look up the, let me take this word Lacedaemonians. Let me come back over here. Let me go to Lacedaemonians. Ooh, it says Lacedaemonians, Athens, Lacedaemonians were black, the Lacedaemonians in Maccabees, Lacedaemonians in the Bible. Let's, let's go to Lacedaemonians. Lacedaemonians, a native or inhabitant of Lacedaemon an area of ancient Greece. So we were living in Greece, compromising the city of Sparta and its surroundings. So that movie 300, those are all Jake's. <laughs> and we said that, man, those are all Jake's. Let me deal with lots of demonians were black. Okay, the Black Nobility, that's an actual book on PDF. The Aegean uh, Fall of the Black Civilization, why the Apocrypha was scrapped. Let me see this, let me see this. Spartan Israelites, Israelite.info, let's see what this is all about. The Spartan Israelites' early Hebrew migration to Greece. I'm not, I'm not going to do a whole lot of re reading on this, as you can see. Okay, so let me come back. Let me put in Edom. Okay, let me try it this way. Bear me for a minute. Okay. 
Okay, boom. Edomites. So the actual word Edomites is in the Apocrypha, uh, what is it, three times. Uh, first, as then it says Idumians in other parts. It says, uh, first as is four, verse 45. Thou also that thou also hast vowed to build up the temple which the Edomites burnt when Judea was made desolate by the by the Chaldeans. Now that goes back to Obadiah uh, 1. You can start the 10th verse. As a matter of fact, let me go to it. To show you that it was the Edomites. Let me bring this over here. Then we're going to close. I wasn't going to go real long with this. Obadiah. And it's about putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Obadiah 1 verse 10, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. This is what Esau did, which we were supposed to be brothers back then. We're not brothers no more. Uh, during the time when the time period when the Babylonian took us down. Jake, uh, brother, for thy violence against thy brother Jake, Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Because ultimately you're going to be destroyed. 11 verse, in, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the in the day that the strangers, which were the, the Babylonians, carried away captive his forces, and uh, for, foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou, Edomite, Esau, was, was as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother, in the day that he, he became a stranger, neither should it thou has rejoiced over the children of Judah, because it was the kingdom of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, in the day of their destruction, neither should it thou has spoken proudly in the day of distress. You, should, you were supposed to help us. So here's a proof right there, First uh, Ezra 4, verse 45. Thou also have vowed to build upon the temple which the Edomites burnt when Ju uh, Judea was made desolate by the Chaldeans, the Babylonians. Uh, First Ezra 8, verse 69. The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and the Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the uh, pollutions of the Gentiles to wit, because they were going, they, they were taking Edomite women and other nations' women, and they were going off on it, man. Now, you can have a concubine or two, but they were taking in their sons and their daughters, and they were taking them in as, as loving them, becoming families. That, that, that's no. A, con a concubine, now I don't know exactly how it's going to work in the kingdom, but a concubine, you're going to have concubines, but you ain't going to be falling in love with these other nations. I said Gentiles to wit of the, of the Canaanites, the Hittites, uh, the Parasites, the Jebusites, and the Moabites, Egyptians, and Edomites. So they went overboard on that, man. So the Most High had to get them straight. The only way you can have a uh, woman of another nation is if you have concubines. And that's in uh, Deuteronomy, uh, uh, what is that, 21 and 10, around there. 
it says in first Ezra 4, verse 50, and that all the country which they hold should be free without tribute, and that the Edomites should give over the villages of the Jews, which then they held. So these devils came into our land. Um, this is not the first time them being in the land. They were in the land back then. When the Babylonians came in and enslaved us, uh, Edomites came in, into our land, man. And they're in our land right now. And um, they're getting ready to get put out of that land by fire. Anyway, that's all I wanted to speak on. With that, I'm going to say uh, shalom.